Hey everyone, I hope your day is going with excellence. So, um, I said I would review Maple Inn Super Stable Coverage Complete 16 Hour Wear Powder Foundation. And I've had this for a year and thought I reviewed it and I didn't review it. And so here we are. So I said I would and I'm going to today. So this is 112 Natural Ivory. Okay, and they do not have uh, in the neutrals, which is what this is, they do not have a lighter neutral. Okay, so, and then the next one up, I believe, is 115. Uh, it's a full coverage powder foundation, long lasting, matte finish. Up to 16 hour wear, lightweight, comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, control shine. All right, so um, Maybelline does not have cools. They have warms and <coughs> neutrals, but neutrals have a lot of pink in them. So um, this is what natural 112 natural ivory looks like. All right. And yes, I've hit pan. So um, before I wash my sponge, it is really pinky. But there's some things about uh, the photos that I have to show you. So uh, when I take those, you'll understand. So, you'll understand in the photos, but um, um, it didn't look, the foundation doesn't look super pinky to me in the pan, but um, the sponge is very pink, and I do use it. So, this is what I will be using today to apply, all right? I don't use a brush, so you can see how pink the sponge is. Also, this foundation, um, the it does have a, a mirror. Let me see if I can come in. There you go. You can see the mirror a little bit. It has a mirror uh, in the bottom portion um, where the puff is, all right? And... This is a sponge puff, okay? It came with the compact. So, all right. Now, I've already used spackle. I have a T-zone. I've already used spackle, moisture under makeup primer on my non-T-zone facial areas. On my T-zone, I'm going to be using CoverGirl True Blend Based Business. This does close pores, so I'm going to be using this on my chin, on my nose, all right? And it is a purple color. Also, I've got something else we're going to be looking at. All right, so this is what CoverGirl True Blend Based Business looks like. And I'll be putting the, that on my um, nose. My nose has a lot of pores on the side, so that's what I will be using there. Also, we will be looking at Hard Candy Sheer Envy Stay and Slay. Helps to reduce transfer of makeup, uh, hyaluronic acid, um, aloe, uh, makeup setting spray. So, um, this is what this looks like. This is new. So, we will be checking this out today also. Not only is it new, brand new, but all right. Um, innovative formula designed to help reduce transfer of makeup infused with hyaluronic acid gave aloe known to calm the skin and reduce inflammation. Helps to lock in makeup while caring for your skin. Formula innovative. Um, okay. So we will be checking that out 
after I get um, all my makeup done. Now my eyes are done. All right. And um, I'm wearing a simple um, blue liner. That is all. And this is what my eyes look like right now. And um, I'm not going to be doing anything else with that. And I do need to use a wipe on my under eye. But aside from that, that is what my eyes look like today. This is what my face looks like before foundation. Okay. Um, I put my uh, Laura Geller, Geller spackle on. And I've also put um, um, my CoverGirl True Blend Base Business for pores. All right, and um, uh, I apologize for the angle. Um, this is what my pores look like. Uh, if you look at my nose, and I, I did, I'm showing you with flash, so you can. There, that's my nose, and my pores are closed com completely. So, all right. So now, um. I'm going to go ahead and start applying. Um, and like I said, I apply it with the sponge. And um, I do like it with the sponge. Uh, I think I get um, good coverage. Okay, and again, this is, it is pink. It's really pink. Uh, Maybelline colors are uh, neutrals. Maybelline neutrals are really, really pink. Okay, so I also um, put CoverGirl 2 Blend Base Business on my chin as well. And um, the one thing I noticed about this is um, this stuff really is, I mean, once, if you swatch it, like I'll swatch it right now, I don't get it off my finger well. That is what it looks like. Okay, it looks white. When I look at it uh, on, you know, uh, while filming, it looks white or um, like a cream color, but that's not what the sponge looks like. The sponge looks pink. So interesting. So, and even here, it doesn't look pink to me, but it, it, that's how it goes on, on the sponge. So, okay. So. And it doesn't come off my finger easily either. So it does stay. Um, I go in with um, several, more than one application. So um, I did a video on ELF's uh, Flawless uh, Finish. Um, foundation and I didn't really like the application with the sponge um, I didn't really like the application it says it's a medium coverage uh, but when I went in on the website it said medium to full coverage so it is buildable and um, I don't know application with the sponge uh, to begin with was um, I applied the first time, and the first time, um, you know, it just, it, it didn't, it was like it didn't cover, so, uh, you know, I was, it went on more like a, a see-through foundation, if you will, so I went in again, and, you know, I mean, it was alright, but, but, uh, so I tried it again, uh, the next day with uh, my stipple brush and I was going to uh, do that video but it was just so heavy on my face I didn't like it so um, I did say I would do it with the brush so my thoughts are I want to get a different brush and I want to do it again but I did apply it again <laughs> with the sponge yesterday um, and it just came, it was just heavy still. So, um, 
And then earlier this morning, I had it on the lower half of my face. And it was better. It wasn't as heavy. But I didn't go in several times. I didn't apply more than once. I, I think I applied just once. So if that's so, you know, and then um, it says it's a semi-matte. But when I went in to check it out um, on the website, uh, it's basically uh, a hydrating uh, foundation. So I need matte foundations. Um, you know, it's okay. Uh, it's, but um, I just, um, I just uh, didn't like. Um, you know, the wear, the application, but I did say I would use it with a brush, so I'm going to get a different brush, and we will look at it again and see if it, you know, isn't better with the brush. I'm just going to say that it does not work for me. I mean, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of people it works for. And that's good. But, um, you know, I just didn't like um, um, several things about it. So, um, but I have been um, working with it off and on you know, uh, with different, uh, methods. Um, okay. So, uh, moving away from that topic for just a moment, you're going to see some things. I don't know if you're going to see it, but when I use flash on this powder foundation, um, I don't know. There's some things. So I want to remind you that this foundation is not fully pink. Um, there is um, yellow. Neutrals make up pink and yellow. So um, when I take photos uh, without flash, um, it you can't even, I mean, you don't see any um, color difference. Um, but I'll show you when uh, there's flash. It's de it has a cast. I don't know what it is. Not a cast. You'll see. And I don't know exactly what it is. Um, my thought was is that the yellow um, portion in the foundation was coming out uh, via the uh, flash photo. But I don't know. So, um, you know, we'll see. So, also, being, uh, since uh, this setting spray is new, I was going to set first and then apply the rest of my product, and then we'll start with the wear test. Um, I have not ever used a setting spray, so we'll be finding out together what it does. So, alright, so I applied a little bit extra. In places where um, I usually apply, excuse me, with um, other foundation, and um, I did that. So, and uh, because there's some small areas um, that I um, go back over with my finger when I'm using uh, powder. And I do the same thing with uh, liquid um, foundation. And it does work well. Alright. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and set. And then we are going to go back in uh, with um, the other product that I have and um, 
we're going to um, apply that and then we'll get started with the wear test. So this did come with a little plastic. So, so you know that. And uh, something else that I was going to use today. I've used this in the past. This is Hard Candy Translucent Share and Be No Flash Powder. So I'll be applying this. I'm going to spray this spray. And then um, what this does, camera ready setting powder that won't flash back or cause a white cast. Effortlessly buildable coverage helps to absorb oil and lock in makeup throughout the day. Lightweight formula infused with mango butter for a smooth, soft focus finish. So I used this for a while, and then I stopped using this, so I decided I would go ahead and use it again today. This does not come with a puff. All right. In fact, I while I did hit pan, there's absolutely nothing in the bottom of the... All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and yeah, just a moment here. I have, I brought my brush out and I think I forgot to, let me go ahead and spray this and then I'll go get my powder brush. I like to set more than once to give the makeup a really good boost. Okay, so this is not a dry mist. It comes out with force. So if you get this, be aware. Okay, so I'm going to go and get my brush and I will be um, right back. All right, so I put the white powder on, and this is what I have thus far. It almost looks in some places like the powder is too light. I could go up 1 to 115. It looks like it's... But I don't know if I'd want to go up darker than that, if you will. I don't know. All right, this is without flash. And I mean, you can't even see anything there. So I'm going to um, get the rest of my makeup on, which is um, Fit Me um, in Mauve. This is. Um, um, okay, and then, um, um, Wet and Wild Blossom Glow, all right, I'm going to quickly do that, and then we will start our, um, we'll start our wear test. I'm using the same brush for my blush um, today. It is a powder brush. It is a, um, an, it's an elf powder brush. So I already know it's an elf powder brush, but for today, this is what I'm doing. So just so you know, just so you know, I don't like the way to apply it. I may be going to my actual powder brush or um, blush brush. Okay, it is. It is picking up. It is. Okay. So. 
I hope that all is well with you. Um, we're heading on into March. You know, pretty soon it's going to be spring again. That would be great. Okay. So. I, I have one side done. I'm almost on the other side. I apologize that this is later than what I usually have. Usually, I try to get this up and going. Um, uh, my goal is in the morning, even in the later morning. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't get it done at the latest, like one. But today is late. I have so much more coming. So, so very much more coming. Lots more product. So we'll see. You know, sometimes, like with Cheekers Blush, CoverGirl Cheekers, they come with their own uh, brush, which I know most people don't use, but I did use it because it really did work for me. I did like it. One more, and that is um, my highlighter, um, Wet n Wild Blossom Glow. So, and then we'll start this wear test. Okay. Oh, one more thing, setting spray. Show you what this looks like in just a second and then we will start okay the pump it's a little hard to push and you might want it back far from you because when it sprays on your face it's wet okay just heads up there I'm fanning myself because big sprays of wet all over my face. Alright, so I got all that on. Alright. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. And then... Uh, we're ready to go. Ready to start the wear test. Okay. 
I will be taking several photos throughout the day of um, the progress or how the foundation looks. And then we will wrap everything up later on tonight. Like late tonight sometime. Okay? It's going to be really late. So, I've used all my product, and now uh, we will begin the wear test. So, it is right now 3.30. I'll see you late tonight sometime. Really late tonight sometime. So, I will see you guys then. Have a great afternoon and a great evening, and we'll see you later. Hello everyone, I am back and it is right now 10 11. Okay, all right, so I took photos all throughout the day, and this is what happened. So, starting again with photos all right so this is how everything looked when we first started all right okay that's the first photo and the second one is just like it and I used the puff and not the brush So, in my photos, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it looks like my photos are picking up the yellow. I know that the sponge is really pink, but that's what it looks like. It's picking up the yellow in the um, foundation. But, if you don't see that, then it may just be my um, photos. I don't know. All right, so this is how it has looked all day, okay? It has not changed. Now, a little rubbed off, rubbed off the bottom of my chin. Um, um, my jacket kept rubbing, uh, the top of my jacket kept rubbing against the bottom of my chin and it took off a little bit my jacket did took off a little bit off the bottom of my chin so I fixed that because that wasn't the product that was my jacket so I fixed that Let's see. there's my the bottom of my chin And everything looks good I think it looks really good okay now I apologize uh, for the uh, position this is my pores right there in my nose the side of my nose there's my pores and I use covergirl true blit true covergirl true blend based business and here is another this photo um the angle is a little weird but i wanted you to see my um um pores around my nose so i tried to get a photo of that and this is my chin again okay and uh, as you can see, it did take off a little bit. My jacket did that. 
So I fixed it. All right. More with the bottom of my, um, uh, around my face. I'm showing you what it looks like around my, the bottom of my face. It has been on all day. It doesn't move. I touch my face. And I have to say this, that setting spray that I bought, um, it not only, it, it, my face is so soft, feels really good. And the only thing that moved uh, because of my jacket is the bottom of my chin. But I mean, even here, let's see what time is this. In this photo, okay, 10.09. At 10.09 p.m., this that's what my chin looked like. 10.09. All right. Okay, so this is my face again. And it looks good. Okay, so this is with flash. So I wanted to show you the difference between neutral foundations and pink foundations. I'm not going to in this um, in this review, but I'm going to show you in a video upcoming the difference. So this is with flash, and I thought with flash it was picking up the yellow and the neutral because the neutral see it doesn't look like that with. There's no flash. I'm not using flash in this photo. It doesn't look like that at all. But neutral foundations have um, pink and yellow in them. My foundations, that my go-tos are all pink. All my foundations. <coughs> I do, I have been using this one because it does have a lot of pink in it. And I also like powder foundation, so that's why. This, I use flash, okay? I did that um, to show you, to make sure you could see the areas. And see, I use flash here. See with flash what it does? But here, I'm not using flash. Same face, same foundation, zero flash. So, I'm thinking about that. So, I think the foundation is good. Um, I used um, a CoverGirl primer for pores and oil control. And aside from my jacket rubbing off the bottom, I think it did all right. Um, the rest of my face looks great. And... Um, um, I haven't had any issues all day. Okay, this is with flash. No issues today. None. So, I think it's a good um, foundation. Okay, now I want you to see something else. This is in different light, but I want you to see... It, it still somewhat looks yellow on my face. If you can't see that, it, it must be the, either the light or my camera. I don't know. I don't think I use flash here. Although I might have to get to pick up my pores. But um, if there's if it does look yellow... It's picking up the um, um, the yellow in the foundation. So, all right, everyone. I like the foundation. I think it did well. And aside from my jacket, it did what it said. So, um. You know, I'm, um, 
I'm giving this powder foundation an excellent review. So, alright everyone, that is all for this um, video. That's all for this review. I've got a lot more coming your way, so stay tuned. All right, everybody. Have a great evening. And incoming subs, welcome. Subs, thank you for subbing. And I will see you all in my next video. And lurkers, you know you want to subscribe. Alright, everyone. Have a great evening and a great day tomorrow. And I'll see you later.